Hola, buen dia. I'm going to give a quick update on our roof for the beginning of our introduction and then get into this week's video. So we finished installing the roof on the back half of the house on Sunday, just before the rain started. So we've now had, I think this is day six of rain since we finished the back half of the roof. So it looks fantastic. Um, it's performing really well. It's already warmer than the old roof, uh, even though you can see that we have some uh, holes along the top of the wall there to fix. So when we removed the old roof, we also removed all of the trusses and the purlin. Um, so yeah, they were cemented in. So we had to break the top of the wall in order to remove them and to replace with the new ones. So we're still working at filling the gaps and holes. Um, and especially in this part of the house, the addition that's gonna be the future kitchen, um, even the original walls had a lot of holes like this at the top. So you can see the section where we removed the old tiles that were damaged, um, had holes in them, or were just loose. Like as soon as we started removing the blocks around them, um, some of the blocks beside and below just kind of came loose. Um, so any that weren't stable, we removed, obviously. Um, so yeah, in today's video, you're going to see the start of that process. Um, we do have some bad news about the roof as much as the, the performance and we're happy with the aesthetic. Um, an inspector from the camera stopped by on Monday and said that we can't use the metal sandwich panels, <laughs> which um, I kind of understood what he was saying in Portuguese, but it just didn't make sense. So I figured I must be misunderstanding what he's saying because I specifically asked if we could use the metal sandwich panels when I got the permit. So um, we discussed it with him and he said, okay, yeah, you can use the metal uh, sandwich panels, but they have to look like the roof tiles, which they didn't tell us before we purchased the roofing materials. So um, yeah. We're tired, frustrated, disillusioned, and just not in a really good headspace right now. Um, the inspector discussed it with us and said to complete the front half of the roof. Um, and once the roof is complete, he's gonna take photos and submit to the head of his department for approval. So fingers crossed, everything works out okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, so for today's video, <laughs> you're gonna see us um, leveling out the floor in the future kitchen where I'm standing now and starting to remove the roof on this section. So removing all the trusses and getting ready to install the roof. And we are also sharing with you a quick tour of the sawmill where we purchased the wood for our roof. Okay, enjoy the video. Okay, so more chaos. This is the view from the bedroom now. So we moved the china cabinet into the living room um, because we're going to be taking the roof off of the back half of the house soon. Um, so we're trying to keep as much of the furniture and appliances and everything in the front half of the house so we don't have to worry so much if it rains. Um, we've moved the temporary kitchen. So it's now set up in the second bedroom. Come on, get out of there. So this one is, who is this? Oh, I see a little white whisker there. So that's Rocky. Trying to help me do the dishes. So this is the addition that will eventually be our kitchen. Um, before we start taking the roof off, we decided to level this floor because the whole floor slopes from where I'm standing down to the other end. And it's also sloping down towards this wall here. 
Um, so we need to level that out. We decided to do it now so that we're not moving the big china cabinets two more times at a later date to level this floor. Um, it's really heavy and I can barely lift it. Um, I got a little creative lifting it to move it into the living room. So when we move it back, I'll try to remember to take video of that. And the plan is to go along the room from here and draw on the wall with a Sharpie so it's easier to see where I'm leveling the cement to. So at least I have a reference around the edges. I think that's going to speed up the process of pouring the cement floor. Yeah, now that I've done it a few times, I'm able to plan a little bit better in advance. We'll see. We'll see if it works. Back door, gone. Ooh. Oopsie. Because <laughs> that was real sturdy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there goes a whole brick. Jesus, the wood's all rotted in here. It's okay, we're replacing the wood. So we finished drawing our line. So you can see it along the bottom here. So on this end, it is, what, three centimeters? We raised it up to three centimeters. So it's three centimeters higher than the original floor. And then as we go across down to this end, you can see the huge difference. And once we get to this end, it is 19 centimeters. So we're going to do a little bit of backfilling on this end of the room. Um, we're going to wet everything down so that the cement sticks better. And then we're going to, we're going to pour cement, my favorite thing. All right, let's get her done. What you doing? I'm pouring water to kind of wet down the cement. And I also want to see. Is that self-leveling water? <laughs> no, but look at it go. Oh, no. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah. It's a race. I am winning. That's our, what slopes this way? Oh, look, there's a hump there, so it slows yeah. down. Yeah, there's a. Right here. Oh, look, goes yeah, out the door. Oh, there. Oh, well, this one's winning. Coming in our door when it was raining. So. I am winning. I am winning. I am winning. Oh, no, no, it stopped. Oh, hey, look, water. one level spot right there. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> Are you getting more water? Yeah. Well, let's just get the hose. Yeah. Oh, I can't really handle that hose well. First time this floor has ever been washed in 150 years. That's not true. I've washed it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wet the floor. Uh huh. Uh, Getting my shoes wet. That should be enough. That should be <laughs> enough. There Ready you go. for the shenanigans, I guess. It's right at your face. Woo. All right. Shenanigans. So we won't bother showing the cement part because you've seen us do cement before. Um, I am going to sweep some of the excess water out the door yeah, uh, down or down this way because it's still dry along this edge. All right. We will see you when it is finished. Okay. So the cement is poured. It's all level. We're using one of the things from the scaffolding so that we can walk across to get inside. And we're going to hang some plastic in front of the doorway. So I wanted to show you guys what the cement floor that was in the house looks like. Um, so their cement is about an inch or 2.5 centimeters. And then it's literally just the dirt underneath. So this is where the slab for the old fireplace was. Um, we're going to be replacing it with a smaller one. So we're eventually cementing this section level with the cement that's here. Um, 
who knows how long this cement has survived. So we decided rather than ripping the whole thing up, um, we're just going to cement this section level with the existing cement. And then before we tile, we have to do a uh, self-leveling over all of the floors. Well, we had the owner of the sawmill here this morning, as well as one of his colleagues who speaks English. Um, so they came and took a look at our roof. Um, we were ordering six centimeter by six centimeter, uh, which is exactly the same as the rafters that are existing right now. Um, they didn't think that that would be sufficient for a roof. But then when they arrived and saw that it was the steel sandwich roofing, um, they said, yeah, it's, it's more than enough. They actually said, we just need the ridge beam and every two meters, another, um, purlin. Um, they call it a chariot here. So we showed them our drawing and they agreed that our way would work just fine. Our, our way is actually more secure um, and more reinforcement than what's necessary. So they actually said that we can keep the existing um, rafters or trusses and replace the stringers or battens. Um, and then they said that we should replace the chariot here and the one on the other side there. We're replacing all of these. And instead of just doing the um, span to the wall, we're doing a full three meters so that it extends out the extra half meter that the roof is gonna overhang. Um, so the roof at the back will be supported by the trusses or um, rafters, whatever you want to call them. So that's the plan. So we finally started removing the tiles from the roof and we're gonna remove all of these old uh, rotted beams from the addition section of the house so yeah that's what we're working on at the moment they say we so far it's just been him so we have the scaffolding set up and grant is removing the screws from the temporary roof so that we can bring it back down so let me run around. Okay. Hey, Grant! Huh? They are destroying your house. Look! What happened? You can walk without knocking your head. Really? 
That's what, that was the whole plan. <laughs> they, uh, they just bought the place. I hope you have a good insurance. I do, actually. Excellent. No, 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 no. Take a nap. Let me do it. Hey, that's up my bum. The pile is not there, it's not finished yet, yeah. and the wood is not uh, dry. Mm. It goes there, yeah. and, uh, and uh, yeah, and that's to, that's nice why there. the dry is more expensive because you have to stone. spend the energy to dry it. Yeah. It's another thing that I like here because we don't have to send wood to somewhere else to dry or leave it out for two years. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Truck come and uh, take uh, like uh, 20 of them and uh, things that uh, that we don't have use for it they they make use for it yeah somewhere else. wood chips you sell you sell them yeah yeah, yeah. oh okay to, to make fire too. well I I would use it for my yard for mulch for mulch right? oh, to the to garden cover your plants to, to the garden yeah yeah. The yeah, gardens. yeah 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 it's yeah. really good for that so uh, we we we'll probably come and buy some of this too. So some people, yeah, some people will bring will bring uh, bags yeah, we and, have, uh, oh, okay. and fill, the, fill them uh, and take to their homes. But mostly big, uh, big enterprises that come in take it, yeah, because uh, if not, uh, okay. that's that's too much for all. Yeah, of course. One or two people to take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you sell that too, right? Uh, you sell this most of it. To make the, the bed of the, the animals. Yeah, sounds yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't need other people, other enterprises to, to make uh, our products. Yeah. I think only the only thing that we need to send away to, to make it is to, to give the treatment to the wood. Yeah. The oh, okay. Pressure the treatment. pressure yeah. treating. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 